Nesters, as this is you know, showing. Uh huh. So this is that's a comfortable place for her. Mm -hmm. Is that a is that a red-tailed hawk? That is a red-tailed hawk. Yes. You're right. On the front of their faces or pointed forward and the reason is is you want good binocular vision to catch whatever you want to catch and that usually is another animal so just by looking at us other animals know we're predators we also act like predators if I were to walk up to you and meet you right now I would look you directly in the eye and walk straight up to you right that's a very predatory thing to do so all animals know it just by looking at it. Just by looking at it. Can you meet me? Okay. Just so you know. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was going to be cheese. No problem. What time is it? Okay. I don't know if you have a chance to talk to Tucker from Rocky. Okay. Let's go around and we'll see what he gets. Okay. Okay. 
Is the release at noon or at one? Program start at noon. Um, so and Adam is going to be up there with birds, um, and we have a naturalist also from Richardson with some other animals, okay. which is really cool. And then the program for releasing the birds start at one, but I would suggest getting up there before that, yeah. um, just because everybody knows. <laughs> Yeah, noon, noon o'clock. Noon o'clock. <laughs> noon o'clock is when our program starts. One o'clock is when the release starts. How many are they releasing you? Three. Can we sneak out yep. and start walking? No. Other places too. Yeah, we can find a place to back out. What do you need, Michelle? Um, the the container that is by the the soft sided cooler that is by the eagles. I know it has scissors in it. He's just taking this all in. This is his first release, and he's just, what is going on? Mouse, his absolute favorite. Uh huh. And so, um, so we're counting from there. <laughs> yes, all of the birds in the rings are permanently injured. This bird is blind on his right side, so his eye that's closest to me. Paper. And I, I never found out who thought, figured this out, but you take a roll of toilet paper sitting on its side and you put like a, you know, a doll in so it can sit on there. Yeah. And um, when you sit on that side of that toilet paper, it changes shape too when you move sure. around. And so the pressure points are never the same. <laughs> so someone was very, very clever. Yes. This is good. Where the red tail is hard to get to that. This is our red tail yeah, pot. But it's a light face, so they can be light or dark, yeah. depending on where they look. They are. Well, the, the um, great grays look a lot alike. We had a dark morph. Right. Ah, early in the spring. Really? Yeah. Didn't you think I did it until just when I looked it up? Yeah. I thought it was a dark. Oh, and then the field, they, they were a pair there, was there. And she was a regular. So the so. The darker birds we see where there's usually less trees because you can't get out of yeah, the, the sun the easily. Light feathers oh, break down know. faster in the sun than dark feathers, so then darker feathers help you. So places like Nebraska, because at the Raptor Center we have the dark morph too. Oh, oh, it was, I think we had it around for about three weeks. Wow. We were able to spot it, and it was, but now it's gone, so it was cool. This guy's my best uh, subject. He poses what? the best. This guy poses the best. This is He's looking at you. <laughs> 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 It's got oh, I thought I'd give it a kiss like that. I thought I'd give it a kiss like that. I thought I'd give it a kiss like that. I thought I'd give it a kiss like that. I thought I'd give it a kiss like that. I thought I'd give it a kiss like that. I thought I'd give it a kiss like that. I thought I'd give it a kiss like that. I thought I
So now we've got another small falcon over there called a kestrel, and then one hiding in here called a male. Those species, the males and females, look different. So the spotty one is a male. Whoops, here I'll turn around for you. So basically they decide because of the way they hunt, they hunt birds. So out in the wild, they're pretty much almost exclusively for me. But like I said, it's a raptor sensor, she only hunts. It tastes just too safe to her. Yeah. <laughs> well, Artemis' daily life is pretty busy because uh, being, she's one of our primary birds. She does a lot of programs. A lot of programs. So either she is probably going to be either at a program at the Raptor Center or she's at a program off site from the Raptor Center pretty much every day. And then, um, like I said, because the new handlers start using her first. Then probably somebody's going to be working with her, learning how to handle and stuff. So she'll get fed once per day. Um, now, if she's doing programs, she might get a little bit in each program that she's doing or when they're handling with her. Um, and it's a certain amount. The, the food is weighed out um, to a certain weight. Um, and it depends upon the weight of the fur. Basically, the general food because they know that they need that extra food to keep her. When it gets warmer, they're not. So, this is a broad wing hawk. We drop their portion. Broad wings are smaller birds than a red tail, but they hunt similar. So they fly high. And that's a four.